Scratch, what one? Bless up, bless up all my viewers, all my subscribers out in the world. Hope you all doing well. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell if you haven't as yet. So we have coming up in the topics. Vibes Cartel, is he in more problem with his appeal? We see some things being said online about the DPP. Also right here, some people are saying that Vibes Cartel lead attorney at law talking too much over social media plus we see squash getting bash for doing a kid's treat in the bronx it's like some people i say oh him never do that a mobile yet well his mother speak out in defense also we see chronic law put out a post we're gonna get into that and pertaining to the video i dropped last night about tommy thompson bright light where sir p expose is like we see he respond addressing the matter still Tune. Yo, Reggae Media TV, Bada Dan, everything we bad, and we madder than everything we mad. Alright, so you know the son of reggae artist Buju Bantan, Jazil Myri, mourning the passing of his brother Mile Myri right here. So as Moby artist Squash put on a treat for children in Bronx over the Easter weekend, we see some people are bashing him. Yes, people is like them and say, oh Squash, they are foreign to do this and him never do it for Moby and all of that. So we see Squash mother came to his defense over social media right here. Yes, people is like Shelly and clap back at some Moby people who are bashing squash after doing this right here. The blood clot media. How much artists do treat for people, right? Then go down their hometown. Squash couldn't take up him good blood. Sent and saying, okay, oh, treat for something when born and go. And then the people try to the people call him most police for him. And it starts from people no good. A two set up for me what me love. And respect one from Flower Hill and the other woman now call a name and on everybody that the family me read me tell on this South Spring people do with the most dirt and they may son them bad and squash can all time mind can take up treat and feed them for him to drink and kill him remember my son get locked up a month of things not put on the media about him saying do this and do, do, do that who not do the same media but wish for my son don't fall but I'm sure that thing out him blood clad throat hole and take money for using the treat <laughs> So some people already celebrating victory in Vibes Cartel Privy Council appeal. Well, some people like this lady right here saying nothing like that. It is not over Vibes Cartel still in big trouble. Well, she basically saying that if it go retrial, the DPP will have the upper hand, you know. So make we see because we don't know the availability of the witness and all of that. So right here, what y'all think about her view on this case? Am I to believe that cartel lawyer does not understand the terms of reference? He's on live every day talking about squash. What is this great new big fancy word of squash? Cartel lost the appeal. If he won the appeal, he would be at home with shorty. And this lawyer, these lawyers are a set of dishonest people just taking purses, money, and, and, and creating rubbish, sitting on live every day talking rubbish like they don't understand law. When you win the appeal, the Commission of Corrections get a letter from England or get a call or an email to say, release John Brown forth with. And so we would be at the station sitting down and see and saw John Brown come to the station to say he will be reporting for a job. I said, but you're supposed to be in prison. He won the appeal. Hell, how, how the hell you won the appeal? Yeah. When you win the appeal, you are released immediately and gone to your yard. The matter was sent back for trial because England don't want to get involved in that matter. So they send back the matter for Jamaica to decide. The evidence that the DPP has about who chop up, who I use boot as, as gun, 
Oh, lizard still in a tree, I climb up. All of those evidence are still in the position of the DPP. The only person who need to present something new is Cartel and his team. Because they want retrial, so they will have to present new evidence to prove his case. The DPP don't have to prove anything because she already have her, her evidence in hand. It's since when the law change. The law don't change. The law is the same. Roadside law is different from courthouse law. All of you running up and down chatting this rubbish about squash. What the hell is squash? What squash mean? No stop on a rubbish man. So right here we see article from Yard Hype, you know, along with a video of Pretty Dan speaking about Vibes got a lawyer, I sat Buchanan. Yes, people, as you can see right here, many of Vibes got fans are of the view that lead attorney I sat Buchanan is doing too much talking online surrounding the DJ legal battles. Notably, before the appeal at the Privy Council, the outspoken attorney has been vocal online, making disparaging comments about the DPP Paula Llewellyn at one point, and he has continued his online endeavors following the appeal being quashed. So it's like we see some people are pointing out that Vibes Cartel lead attorney getting him into more trouble along with some Gaza fans who are saying a lot online, you know. Also, the serpeating thing with Vibes Cartel lawyer Isaac Buchanan speak about the ex-police thing. He also stated that he's not expecting a retrial. He also details suing the government if Cartel and co-accused men walk free. So people, want to think about this right here as it raises a lot of attention. I said, Buchanan! I'm going to get up in eyes, you know. You have to do too much interview for our day. Go on, go read your blood clan. Paper works them. What if you go get cartel out of jail? So yesterday, we put out a video with Sir P blaming Tommy Thompson, the owner of Bright Light Funeral Services, saying that he is responsible for the disappearance of Lizard and Nick Photo Works bodies. It's like Sir P saying right here, certain people who link with him pay him off to carry out illegal cremation. So we see right here, Bright Light, clap back and respond addressing the matter. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm not in today habit of responding to negativities you know because I'm a God fearing person and um, God knows my heart now there's a rumor uh, rumors I should say going around in respect to a gentleman by the name of Sir P I don't know where he's getting this information from and to be honest with you I wish I knew where he was getting such false and degrading information from my name is Tommy Thompson Mr. Brightlight in all my life and uh, I'm a matter of fact I'm saying this with God to my witness I have never once and no occasion ordered anybody to be killed or in any way indirectly or directly has nothing or anything to do with anyone who have died under any circumstances. Sir P, I don't know where you're getting the information from, or if they are made up, or you're doing it to get viewerships or whatever, but I'm asking you kindly to desist. Tommy Thompson Bright Light, and I will say again, God to my witness, I swear, you said not to swear in his name, but I'm doing that now. If he wants to get an audit made, then he has that right to do so. I have nothing or anything to do with any of the allegations that is not being made by him. And I'm asking you, please, Sir P, to desist. Tommy Thompson has nothing to do with lizards. Tommy Thompson has nothing to do with my best friend, one of my best friends. And I said best friends, in the sense that wherever we go, he's always taking pictures like anybody else. 
So, Chronic Law, salute his Moby fans right here. We see Chronic Law getting a lot of love straight out of Moby. Yes, people. Remember when Chronic Law just a bus, you know, around 6. Well, Chronic Law, theme style, did kind of different, you know, I mean, I'm own style, own league. And it's like when Chronic Law just a bus out on the scene with squash. The whole of them, it's like enough people did have it that Chronic Law come from Moby too, you know? Not knowing that a St. Thomas artist, when Chronic Law start to get bigger on the scene now, you know, and people are get to know him background info and them things that people realize, you know, Chronic Law come from St. Thomas. Yeah, people, so it's like now we see Chronic Law in Moby recently perform and we see Chronic Law put out a caption saying, when them see the sign, say welcome to Moby, and no for them start shaking a man. Oh, uno shaky so. Hashtag up in a them hometown, laughing emoji. We see a lot of people react after Chronic Law put that out. Yeah, man, so Chronic Law have a close connection in Moby from long time. A them help lift up Chronic Law career on a level too. So, big up Chronic Law along with his Moby fans right here. Although some people say at one point Chronic Law could go Moby, but Big up Kranik Law.